Hey everybody, my name's Scott with Common Motor and today we are here to talk about cylinder heads and our cylinder head machining service. So what exactly is your cylinder head? The cylinder head is basically the top cap of your engine. It's going to seal off the combustion chamber and direct the flow of air and fuel through the engine. Now the main parts of the cylinder head are gonna be the top part of the combustion chamber here, the valves, which we can see the bottom side here and here. You're gonna have intake and exhaust ports. Here's the exhaust port where the air fuel gases leave the engine. And on the other side, we have the intake port where everything enters. Also another important part are gonna be these holes right here. That's gonna be where your spark plugs go. Now that we've gone over the main parts of the cylinder head, let's talk about the valve train a little more closely. So of course, we all know about the valves, but there are a few other parts that are important to know about. So we do have the valve springs here, which actually control the valve as it moves. We're gonna have the valve guide also, which as the name implies, is gonna guide the valve to make sure it moves in a straight line. And then we do have the valve seat, which is actually gonna be the surface that the valve contacts against when sealing off the combustion chamber during combustion. If you wanna learn a little bit more about the specifics of each component, be sure to check out our valve removal video. All these parts we talked about are in constant motion while the engine operates, and any of the surfaces that are in contact with each other will wear out eventually. So when it comes to the valve, the two main parts that wear are gonna be the valve stem and the valve face. The valve stem is gonna wear out as it moves in and out of the guide, and the valve face is gonna wear as it makes impact with the valve seat. So replacing a worn out valve is easy, especially since we sell brand new valves for all these engines, but you can't just throw this in and expect the engine to run well. Since the valve seat and the guide have worn at the same time, we need to take a look at both of those and service them accordingly. When we're correcting any issues with the valve seat, we actually cut material out of it to make a nice new surface for the valve to mate with. By doing this, we're able to remove any pits or imperfections on the valve seat, as well as correcting any angles and making sure that the sealing surface is the proper width. Our approach to doing this is gonna be as minimal as possible. Um, there's only so much material that can be removed from the valve seat before it can't be used anymore. We wanna be sure to preserve as much service life as we can. Now, since these machines are 50 years old, we can't just go into our Honda dealership and order a brand new one. We wanna make sure that after the next 20,000 miles, these valve seats can be cut again, and this part can still be put into use. So as the valve slides in and out of the valve guide, the hole of the guide's actually gonna get larger. This isn't good because it can let the valve move around inside of it, which can actually lead to the valve bending or breaking. Our approach to correcting this is gonna be similar to what we do with the valve seats, where we wanna be as minimally invasive as possible. We found that the best technique is going to be to install a bronze liner into the valve guide to bring the size back to the Honda spec. In the event that the valve guide is too far gone to be repaired by the sleeve or it's broken, we can actually replace the valve guide, although it's not our preferred method for a few reasons. One of the biggest reasons is going to be that when the guide is pressed out and pressed in, there is a chance that they could be damaged to the cast cylinder head itself. Also when doing this, the angle of the valve to the valve seat is usually changed, which can be corrected, but we have to cut deeper into the valve seats. And like we mentioned, there's only a certain amount of material there that can be removed. The last thing we really like about using these bronze sleeves is when it eventually becomes worn out, we can remove just the sleeves and install a new one. Some other common issues we see are gonna be broken bolts, either here at the exhaust studs, maybe even up here in any of these bolt holes, as well as damage to the holes for the spark plugs. The last thing we address is gonna be the head gasket surface on the bottom side of the cylinder head right here. So it's common to see scratches, maybe gouges where someone has taken it off in the past, or sometimes small little pits just from regular use. So we do this by lapping it in a fine grit sandpaper until we get a nice flat surface. So by doing this, we can remove any major imperfections or damage that could prevent the cylinder head from sealing to the cylinder itself. Although we can fix all those issues we've gone over, there are gonna be a couple of things that we can't fix. 
One of the biggest things is going to be broken cooling fins like this. Other things we can't correct are gonna be extreme corrosion to the aluminum casting. Sometimes if an engine has sat outside or has been seized, the corrosion is so bad that it'll destroy the shape of the port or the combustion chamber. Whether you already know or not what kind of work your cylinder head needs is part of our service. We'll give it a thorough evaluation and determine the best course of action for bringing it back to factory specs. Even a good looking head can be worn out. There's no way of really knowing without checking everything out. There's no sense in going through all this time and effort to put a worn out cylinder head back on your engine and find out in 2000 miles that it's gotta come back apart to properly service the cylinder head. We're excited to finally offer this service and fix these cylinder heads in house. That way we can keep your vintage Honda rolling down the road for years to come. Again, this has been Scott with Common Motor. Be sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Check out our newsletter at common-motor.com and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring that bell.